So in this video we're gonna check out the possible team of the tournament for FC Mobile the Euro 2024 event We've got a screenshot where we can see most of the cards or pretty much the whole team that might get team of the tournament cards Now I, I agree with some of them I don't really agree with some of them But we're gonna go ahead and discuss it check it out and then I'm gonna I might go and open some packs obviously talk about the new um, universal tokens that we're gonna get and all that but right now let me go ahead and open a reward because this is what i'm going to talk about as well universal tokens because it's, because it's a quite it's quite an interesting thing that is coming out as well we've got a new gift package though that we're getting it's a walkout i think it's a what is it I'm, i don't really remember it's uh italian central forward is that del piero it is del piero 93 overall uh, alessandro del piero okay we've got a 93 overall del piero not really that great we've got standard pack as well let's go and open that we've got pretty much nothing from, from that standard pack as well but yes euro final is happening very very soon that's why we're getting gift packages every single day and we're gonna be getting euro 20 uh, euro 2024 team the tournament very very soon in fc mobile as well and most of them are probably going to be 99 overall some of them maybe 98 but most of them are probably going to be 99 overall it's going to be very very exciting and we're going to check out most of the cards as i said but we're getting universal rank universal um tokens as well that universal token is interest is an interesting one because we're not going to be getting competitive points anymore as you can see right there universal tokens are coming and exciting change is coming to division rivals starting july 18th uh, UTC so it's gonna be in about a week in about uh, in about five days six days um, you'll earn universal tokens instead of competitive points these tokens can be exchanged for division rival rewards and event progress so, so we can go ahead and use these universal tokens for event progress as well uh, play division rivals to earn universal tokens uh, this includes worst attack head to head and manager mode starting July 18 UTC uh, a new event will also offer a uh, universal token so the new event that we're gonna get most likely icon token uh, icon uh, chronicles event is gonna offer some more universal tokens exchange universal tokens to earn um, event currencies and division rival rewards uh, which is quite interesting because we are gonna we can go and exchange them to event currencies like for example right now we've got journey tokens for euros uh, we are gonna be able to uh, exchange them into that type of uh, event tokens i think and we can also get the usual raw rewards you will uh, you will be able to trade in your competitive points for universal tokens so if you are thinking about uh, uh, or if you are thinking about uh, just spending all of your competitive points because they're gonna be gone you can go ahead and convert them into um, universal tokens so you don't need to spend any of your competitive points and advanced competitive points will remain unchanged so we're still gonna get advanced competitive points it's still gonna be the same length and division roles uh, players will have more fle flexibility to keep up with events and rewards so get ready to cl uh, climb the ranks and earn universal token so that's that's pretty much the reason why i've been playing more and more head-to-head -head. if you go out and take a look at it um i'm playing a lot more head-to-head -head. i met 650k caps and that was at like 500 and something k uh, yesterday i'm pretty sure so i've been grinding head to head and i'm gonna go ahead and grind even more and more head to head uh, just for that reason because we're gonna be getting new universal tokens um and we're gonna be able to exchange them into event uh, points into event progress as well as get more division raw rewards so make sure you don't spend any of you any of these okay we can actually convert competitive points into journey points uh, right there as you can see so I, I did forget about that one but yeah universal tokens they're gonna be coming out instead of this um instead of these competitive points right now let's go ahead and check out the uh, euro 2024 team of the tournament screenshot that i've got right now and let's discuss it then so here is the team of the tournament that i've been sent as you can see right there then we've got the whole 11 and some of these i do agree with but some of these i definitely don't agree with in goal first of all we've got donnarumma right there you can just see that in goal we've got Donnarumma. Now Donnarumma has been very very good in this tournament of course. He has been very very good but Italy haven't really done that well. Uh, if you're going off of the ones that have been knocked out I would 100% go with Mamar Dashvili because he has definitely been the best goalkeeper right. He has definitely been the best goalkeeper in the tournament no doubt about that. Uh, the most saves, uh, the most clutch saves and all that against Portugal, against um against czech republic even against turkey and even against spain he has been so so good in this tournament so i will 100 percent go with mamar dashwili but if you're going off of the ones 
who are still in the tournament, we have to go with either uh, Spanish or Dutch, right? Or maybe from some uh, someone from uh, the semifinals, uh, maybe not not Netherlands uh, goalkeeper, definitely not. Um, and we've got. Manyan, I don't really think he has to go in as well. Unai Simon is the one if you're going off of the ones who have not been knocked out early. Um, but yeah, I think Mamardash really has been the best one, no doubt. Uh, then at right back, we've got Dani Carvajal. I mean, Dani Carvajal has got a big, big shout because Spain have been great. And Dani Carvajal has played quite well um, as well, to be fair. Uh, Kyle Walker has made a couple of mistakes, but he's been good as well. Jules Kunde, in my opinion, has been the best right back in the um, in the tournament like he has been the best one even though he has been knocked out for me he was the best but Carvajal definitely a decent shout at left back Cucurella I think that's 100% right there no doubt Cucurella was the best left back um, in, in this tournament 100% and then we've got two central backs now Saliba I do agree with because Saliba has been incredible in this tournament in this whole tournament he has been so so good but one Dyke he has been decent but I feel like for his standards he's made a couple of mistakes he wasn't as good as you would think he would be okay um also at left back i think uh someone like nathan aki was great but at center back i don't think one dyke deserves to be in he's probably gonna get it don't get me wrong he's probably gonna get it but i think um someone like english center back uh, has been very very good as well as um the uh, La laporte has been great as well and there were some other ones um that have been good one dyke I'm not saying he was bad, but for his standards, he wasn't as as good as he was supposed to be, at least. Then for the midfield, I mean, first of all, I don't see Fabian Ruiz there. Fabian Ruiz 100% has to make it, right? For me, at least, he has been the best player in the tournament. He he has been the best player um, of the whole tournament, in my opinion. So I think he has to go in as one of the central mates. Uh, Rodri has to be in there as well. Rodri is so, so good. I think I would just take out Declan Rice, to be fair. Um, he, he he was good, but he wasn't as good as a lot of people thought. So I think Fabian Ruiz, Fabian Ruiz was 100% better than Declan, Declan Rice. Don't get me wrong, he was 100% better than him. So yeah, Dec, uh, Fabian Ruiz himself, Declan Rice, Rodri can stay there. Bellingham obviously scored two goals two clutch goals but has he been great not really in this tournament he wasn't really good um someone like Danny Olmo 100% was better probably Bellingham is gonna get it because of the PR and all that but uh but uh, Danny Olmo has been the best one no doubt about that and then we've got um left wing Nico Williams you can't go wrong with Nico Williams Cody Gakpo has been incredible as well but Nico Williams has done so so well and they are in the final so I think he deserves to be there as well as Lamin Yamal I mean you can't you you cannot tell me any other right winger that deserves to be there other than Lamin Yamal right 100% Lamin Yamal deserves to be there and that striker striker is an interesting one because there have hasn't really been any great strikers in this tournament really um harry kane isn't wasn't great in this tournament let's be honest he was quite bad he did score three goals but he has been very very bad mikhail Dadze, the one from georgia of course um mikhail Dadze has been uh, great as well he hasn't really played that many matches but he's still one of the top scorers he still scored three goals i think he deserves to be there a bit more than harry kane even though harry kane is gonna get it just because he's harry kane and he's in the final and if he scores at least one goal in the final um he then he's 100 gonna be uh in this team the tournament team but that's just my thoughts that uh, there haven't been great strikers a lot of great strikers as i said not from france uh, definitely not Mbappe, not from the Netherlands. Cody Gakpo can get in as a striker, I guess, but he, he has been playing as a left winger, so I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section who would you put as striker, but that's pretty much what I think about this team of the tournament right there.